There's some concerns about exposure to radiation. Where are we in the state of the art, and, and what, can you, what can you do with it? How safe is it? Where do we stand with that kind of approach? So I think to be very pragmatic about radiation, um, it's important to keep in mind what the application of radiation is. And, and what we try to do is we look at the, the hazards. And if you expose somebody to radiation, what is the risk? that they'll have a significant complication or another disease that arises as a result of that. So the natural thing we all worry about is if you have x-rays, is it possible you may end up developing some form of cancer downstream? Well, the reality is that our methods for monitoring radiation dose have become very sophisticated. And our ability to decrease the amount of dose that patients receive has also become very sophisticated. And so the current CT scanners that we utilize are remarkably safe with very, very low doses, and that's done intentionally, but at the same time, we have incredibly high resolution images that allow tremendous diagnostic accuracy. Now, having said that, uh, we, of course, all of us appreciate that any complications from a particular technology, if they're avoidable, should be avoided. And so we're developing ultrasound and optical imaging techniques and MRI, and MRI in particular has shown a dramatic opportunity for growth in the past five to 10 years with incredible acumen of the diagnosis that can be made. And so you can think of it as a two-pronged approach. On one hand, we're continuously developing new technologies that are non-radiation technologies that are dramatically improving the range of diagnoses we can make and the scale at which we can see things, very small things, very fine things. And so that allows us to be much better diagnosticians. But at the same time, we understand that uh, x-rays, chest x-rays and CT scans still have an extremely valuable function that can't yet be completely replaced in all instances, and so we've made that extremely safe also. And so uh, the instances where we're concerned are if a patient has multiple scans, one after the other, and in particular, um, imagining if, if this happens to a child, a small child, given the longevity of life that's ahead of that child, well, then you have a greater risk for cancer developing over time. But even in those instances, we are particularly vigilant and very careful, and we monitor the, the technical specifications of the images that we're receiving to ensure that it's as low as is reasonably acceptable, ALARA is the acronym that we utilize, but it also gives us diagnostic information. So we're very mindful of this. It is something to consider, but in the vast majority of instances, your physicians and your radiologists are also extremely vigilant and mindful of this exact same issue uh, and do pay close attention to it.